Hello Aquarius, how are you guys doing? Let's get right into your reading and see what is happening for you. Right now, whenever you come across this video is when it should pertain to your life. So let's see Aquarius, what does Spirit want to tell you, want you to know? Okay, so you've got the throat chakra, sound, music, silence, rhythm, vibration. Mm. Okay, very interesting, the message I'm getting for you guys, because like six other signs all got the throat chakra, okay? Like the throat chakra has been very, very popular through these readings, which is about communication or lack thereof. Now, Aquarius, for you guys... What I'm feeling is spirit is saying this is a time where you need to be silent, like um, pull back your energy and not give somebody communication or you need to accept somebody's silence as a sign and no longer give them your energy or try to communicate with them. It's like your silence right now, Aquarius, is golden, whether... Um, you know, you're just miscommunicating with somebody or you just can't seem to make headway or they're just being a jerk, pull your energy back, give them the silence. Your silence is golden. If somebody has kind of just cut you off, blocked you, ghosted you, accept their silence, okay? Let them go on about their business because, again, your silence is golden. It has an impact even though they blocked it. Trust me, you not trying to go after, you not trying to figure out why they won't speak to you is going to have, um, it's not going to have the effect, or God, I'm getting all tongue-tied, you not going after them is going to have an effect that you didn't anticipate, okay? Because I feel like um, whoever this is involved with, whether it's a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or like a romantic um, interest or partner, they're expecting, like, through their silence or them um, ghosting you or whatever, like, they're expecting you to chase them, to run after them for whatever's wrong. Like, here she's playing the cello. Um, you know, it's like, do you want some um, wine and cheese or some cheese with all that wine and, like, the world's smallest violin, right? Like, that's what I feel. Like, that's why you got to let this person go off and sulk um, because they're just, they're being unreasonable or their expectation of you whether um, you're wrong or not like they expect you to always like chase after them make sure they're okay ask them what's going on and this could also be where somebody's just being really closed off and acting kind of weird and um, you could say hey what's going on and oh nothing I'm fine let them stew Aquarius, your silence is golden okay for you to get what you want out of this and again, if somebody's just being stupid, just throw your hands. Okay, go ahead and act like that. Not my problem. Not your problem to solve, Aquarius. Okay, so we have love and forgiveness. Wish card. Pleasant surprise, friendship, luck fortune, health condition, unsettling force, passion transformation, and deceit. Okay, yeah. So, Aquarius, you've got three people here, um, one person the same age as you or older, and then two people same age as you or younger, all right? It may all apply or just one of them. But, yeah, what I see here is if they um, threw a fit or they got mad at you or whatever, or they're just kind of being closed off, again, whether this is a friend, coworker, family member, romantic person, it's, it's not you, like they're acting out, okay, um, they're being, I don't want to say passive aggressive, but kind of coy, you know what I mean, and they're expecting 
you Aquarius to care and chase them now if you're a cross watcher and you're like no this is Aquarius Aquarius um, hurt me blocked me off then apply it how it fits for you okay because it can go either way when you're cross watching I don't want to offend anybody but the message here is you know somebody being a jerk somebody throwing a tantrum somebody um, you know making a whole charade and then like storming off and wanting to be chased okay and this in this situation Aquarius this is where spirits like no don't chase them you'll be pleasantly surprised if you just you know hold your ground and remain silent because you didn't do anything wrong all right and cross watchers if this goes the other way around don't chase Aquarius if Aquarius hurts you um, is playing games you know all of that don't your silence is golden and that's how you're gonna get Aquarius to come out of the woodwork to figure it out okay so the message is the same um, either way however you resonate with this and so apply it how it fits if you've been ghosted you've been blocked um, somebody's just acting all weird then your silence is golden and let them stew um, don't chase them don't try to make them feel better about themselves this is where spirits like just let them throw their fit give them not the time of your day and the more that you're not reaching out the more that you appear that you're not caring it's going to freak them out like why doesn't Aquarius care about the health of our relationship here you know um, because who's ever like doing the like let me uh, hold back let me give the silent treatment let me ghost let me block whatever they're being deceitful in it okay they don't mean that um, they just want the attention that is given whenever they act out that way and I just see you being very tired and like ugh. and some of you this is definitely a, a friend since we have the friendship that come ha the friendship card that's come out here It's like, give them the silent treatment right back and watch how much they don't like that. All right, King of Wands. Yeah, somebody threw a fit here. Temperance. Whoever threw the fit, they don't want you guys to be um, not on good terms, interesting enough. Yet, <clears throat> they're expecting you to come back in here. All right, four cups. Yeah, like, I'm going to be stubborn. King of Pentacles, I'm going to be very stubborn. Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords, Two of Pentacles, and Ten of Wands. Okay, and Aquarius, for some of you, this could be a dispute between two friends as well that are trying to put you in the middle. And if it's like if you don't pick sides, then somebody's giving you the silent treatment or whatever. Yeah. Stay out of that as well. That's not your problem to take sides, okay? So somebody, <clears throat> whoever threw the tantrum, who's ever angry, you know, um, giving the silent treatment or just whatever, they're waiting for somebody to come and, and chase them, okay? They're waiting for that. And the Ten of Wands at the end is telling you that it's too much to chase you know this person has a temper they want things their way they expect people to um, kiss their ass even when they're wrong this is the kind of person that doesn't know how to say sorry or if they do it's like they'll buy you like a monetary gift or something like they try to make up with it through money opposed to um, caring about your feelings like they're so sensitive right but they don't care about your feelings and how sensitive you are uh, based on what they say and what they do and it's like they try to make up for it um, in some sort of like physical or monetary sense when what you really need is like communication right I'm sorry um, I was wrong 
I take responsibility, I take accountability, right? Like that's what's needed, but that's not what happens. So that's why Spirit's saying like, you know, whoever had the tantrum, the fit, and, and it ran off and is waiting to be chased, just let them sit there, you know? And if this is a dispute between two people who are close to you, sit it out because it will end up worse for you by trying to take either side, regardless of who's right and who's wrong, all right? It, it's like they'll um, both end up being angry at you, so spirits like, sit it out. But this person is being very stubborn, okay? And they're waiting for you to chase them. And the more that doesn't happen, the more it's going to freak them out, and I feel they're going to come back in. And... I, how they respond to you guys is going to be different for everybody, but it's kind of like, well, you don't care. Like, you don't care that I, it's like the same old story, same old story. Honestly, Aquarius, I feel like whoever this person is, whether it's a friend, a coworker, a family member, or like a romantic interest, after this, this last go round, like, I feel like you're kind of done with this. You can't take it anymore. You're just over it. And that's why Spirit's saying your silence is golden. Why don't you be silent for a minute and not chase after them, not try to work it out, not try to make it better with them, and then watch what happens when you do that instead. And I think in the past, you really, really cared, so that was nearly impossible to do. But now, just this constant pattern of this person flipping out, getting upset, or just disappearing for no reason is too much burden to bear at this point. Okay, and again, I feel for some reason with you guys, because I didn't mention Cross Watchers in any other read, but for you guys, um, Aquarius Cross Watchers, if this is truly the other way around, where it's like Aquarius is always throwing this tantrum and you've always got to be the fix-it person chasing after them. Spirit is asking you, like, is this really worth it? Like, it's so much work just to maintain this connection because of the way that they behave. So, um, just like Spirit is telling Aquarius the other way around, you should pull back and be silent. And through that space you might find that you're changing your mind about dealing with Aquarius anymore because of that back and forth game, okay? I do feel strongly like this could go either way. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Yeah, just let this go. Let it be what it be. You know, if that person wants to walk, let them walk. This time, they're not going to hear your footsteps chasing them. And that's going to change the whole dynamic of everything. Give us some time. Like 10 days, 2 weeks, and they'll be back. And if they're not, then you are better off. It's a ten of wands that you've set down. This person deciding to play ghost permanently. Blessing in disguise. All right, there's your butterfly. And it says, I like to take care of myself with love through rest, play, movement, and positive thinking. Yeah, you don't got time for this, Aquarius. You deserve better than this. This person has some emotional issues they need to face. And it's like, why, why, and it doesn't matter if they're wrong. Like, they still want you to chase them. Okay, this person, again, it's like they just don't know how to articulate um, emotion of I'm sorry or even try to change. They're just very self-centered. All right, so those are your messages, Aquarius. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.